today's video, uh, I'm going to share my experience with you. Say, a, if I was new to this company, I have the right system to take care of. Also, if I'm a consultant for some company, right? The right system. So, when you're a consultant or senior DBA, the people expect you are the expert. It's supposed that you can get in to get everything done yourself or without any help, but you have no idea, you have no document. The, you talk to manager, manager usually is not a technical person, they have no idea what you are asked for. So, in that case, you have to quickly catch up. What is the right system they are running? How to deal with it? This is the purpose we're talking about today, the how I dealing with it. Usually, in the rank system, the two command, SRV CTL, CRS CTL, can give you all the information you needed without any people tell you what it is. So, the rank system generally, uh, you have, say, you have uh, public IP, you have private IP, you also VIP, you have scan IP, you have scan listener, you have local listener, you have database, right? Cluster. So the information here, we try to get it to command SRV CTL and CRS CTL. The way I'm doing it is to, because I don't always have this happening when I access a new company's new rack system, so I put in the script. The first one is the, what is the SRV CTL command I'm going to use? What is the CRS CTS command I'm going to use? And then I put in the script, put in the input file, the script will call the input file to run in the command. And then I put in output. Probably in the like, five minutes I can get information about this rack system. Done. So, usually, I list all of them script here, I mean in the command here for SRVCTL, right? Usually, SRVCTL configure is not really something configure system, it is just a display something for you. For example, I'm really need is how many database running on this rank? For each database, or as a whole, how many nodes they are using? Their single node ASM, or the four node, or two node, right? And also, what the service running on it? What's the network you set up for each network information for node, different node, also VIP information. The network, whole network set up on subnet, uh, subnet, ASM information, listener and a scan, and also scan listener. This information generally I needed. Sometimes I put um, more information here. Is that actually, is that some of them may give you some information. For example, do you have a management database for the rack or no, right? Because 19C you don't need any more before the requirement. Another most important command is this one. SRV CTL configure all. It's not give you detail, but it's give you the whole pictures. You basically you know what is running on this rack. So the next command will be CRS. This resource. This command will be similar like this one, or some information given by SRV CTL. But good thing is they also give you standards. It tell you. The node is down or up database listener. So for diagnosis the system, if say application people tell you application is down doesn't work, that would be the first command to run. You will see, okay, do you have information why it is down? This may give to you. So the way I'm running SRS CPL I'm because it's a became the routing job for me. So I put in the script. It's very easy. It's just a, 
you have import file, right? You can using different import file, just a replace import file. The import file including only command you need. It. You can put all the commands in the one input file, or several different input files with different commands to running it. When you're running it, you read from this file line by line, show what is command you're going to running, and then running it. So the input files uh, you can, I have several of them. Now let's see on the server side what it looks like. Here is the Chrome program script we are going to run. It. So it's, uh, we're just reading from this import file here. And the input file, generally, you can have several of them, depends on which one you're going to use. Say, let's see one of them here. This command will list here for all of them, one by one database, database detail service node network each node each node vip network asm asm listener scan scan listener you can have uh, several different files uh, put in the different command and if you try to running it you just put in this file replace this file so the way i'm running it I usually put in the file, it, uh, the output will be save it uh, instead of see it on screen. It may take uh, several minutes to run because it has two that go through all the commands one by one. Okay, it's done. We can see it. Uh, I'm going to discuss later about this in the PDF file. PDF file maybe is a little bit easy to see for the command. CRS is just one command. Standards. RES meanings resource. Uh, this one will give you the similar information you got from your SRA CTL. Uh, but another thing is it's very good to show you what the stand is for each of them. Looks like I put in the file code CRS in Word. Okay. Now we're really quickly go through the result uh, because I just uh, say actually I don't need to discuss the result the only things I have tried to introduce the way how can I get know the one new rank system in several minutes right? but this one generally say really quickly go through it say when they're running this command right it gave you a database how many databases are running on the rank and you can replace this one with all of them, the others get details about database. Service, we do not have it. So, node app give you node information, uh, IP address, uh, names, right? This kind of information, which node it's uh, running on it. So, this kind of information for node one, node two, node three, node four. For each node, you can run in separate command doing this to get information about it. And also for the VIP, each node have VIP information. You can run this command. The guard is say, give you the node name, a VIP a name, and also IP address. The next one is ASF. This one you probably need to know. It gave you very good information on where is your backup. Because if you mess up with uh, with with your say the voting system, and then 
you're gonna need to restore it. So you need to find where they are. Also the listener, what is listener? So the listener system. Which node have it? It's on all of node one, two, three, four. Port is the fifteen twenty one. Scan information, scan name. Also, how many IP is on scan? Three of them. Scan listener. What's the name for it? Port. Scan listener. One, two, three. The other information probably not important at the moment. I just put there, try to see what they have. This is a database. We do not have database management database for the shrink. We do not have it. You can see it. Not configured. So this is command. It's quickly give you some idea what you have on the shrink systems. And uh, say they go cluster basic information node version right. cluster name who is manager it or is your voting disk exactly where they are which one you're using and the network information about uh, your subnet. Scan the scan name, the scan name, and also IP address you can get from here too. ASM voting, ASM disk groups, all of them, and then for database for each of them, give us some information where they are, what disk group they are using, all of them. CRCT as output generally provide you standards for similar information. It is using different names, say listener, which node that they're running on is online or offline. Network, OMS. Here is the cluster resource about disk groups. We're using data disk groups. Also, listener. Scan standards. You see that you have three scans, you have four nodes, right? Or which one is running, say, I know it's just one, three, four node is running scan listener, but not two. Disk groups, ASM information. And follow here is each database. Uh, you can see the standards, the database, even some configured on the server side uh, may not be online. It could be down and then you can see each database, everything's online, but this one is shut down now, right? So, information here is if someone, application people call you and then say they say system is down, they have no idea, they are not backhand people, you're running this command to get information. Right away, you know, the database issue or listener issue or no issue. So hopefully uh, this several minutes uh, running script just take you like a two or three minutes. You got all the information for the new rack. Uh, it is the benefit for me. I always do this when I go to a new client. Hope it is a help. Uh, thanks for listening.